the attack of the seven-headed dragon on the church. I want to share a vision with you that the Lord gave me on Saturday this August 2020, we were in 40 days of fasting and prayer, God manifested in our 40 days of fasting, He visited us with His presence and with His glory, it is not easy because the Bible says that the flesh is weak but the spirit is willing, God has been shaping each day of this prayer campaign, He does it through His Holy Spirit, God spoke to me through a vision on Saturday, while crying at night. I started to have a vision, I heard the voice of the Holy Spirit talking to me. But first I want to share this portion of the Bible with the blessing of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, Revelation 4-1 After this I looked, and, behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up here, and I will show you things which must be hereafter, we knows that everything is stated in the word of God. But God uses people as an instrument to transmit the message that he wants to every human being, and God does it because he is so loving and he wants the word to get to the ear of the people, God speaks to man but man does not understand through vision, through his word or through dreams, when a man goes to his bed, God is talking at the end of time, in many ways, and he talked to me on Saturday while we were crying in prayer precisely at half past ten, at night. When I was praying on my knee, I felt that the sleep was eluding me, I stood up and began to intercede in standing position, and I moved around in praying to the Lord, I was crying out against the works of darkness, at that moment, I felt that I was no longer walking on the floor, I felt that my feet were walking in the air, and quickly I realized that I was taken by the Lord, and I heard the voice of the Lord who told me. Today I took your spirit Diego in order to show you something, when the Lord was talking to me, I remember that I started to see clear visions, by looking down I saw a very large dragon, he was really enormous, I saw that the dragon had seven heads, and I started to see that this dragon was casting firepower from its mouth towards the earth and the world population, and quickly I saw that opposite of the dragon was a powerful angel of the Lord. He was dressed in a very beautiful heavenly garment, I saw that the angel of the Lord was strong and muscular and very powerful, I remember that on his hands and feet, he had some bracelets like metal, his face reflected radiant light, this was an angel of the Almighty God and he was very strong. He had a flaming sword covered by flames of fire, upon this sword, it was written, Holiness to God. I saw this powerful muscular angel fighting against the dragon who was vomiting fire, and the angel of war was locked in battle with this dragon and the Lord spoke to me and told me, Look, my son, behold my angel, he fights for you, my children, my angel fights against this fire-breathing dragon that is vomiting fire from his mouth on the land, the Lord told me, my son, the dragon is vomiting fire on the earth against the church and my children and the dragon fire is shot essentially against my church, this fire caused spiritual slumber in my church, the dragon fire is directed at my church in order to cool down my children, at the end of time, the dragon is throwing fire over the world in order to cause distraction among my children, he is causing disputes, factions and divisions in the local church to bring down my people and the local church, this is the end time battle and war and my angel is fighting for you and my church, I beheld the muscular angel of God battling the dragon, he had, on one hand, a flaming sword of fire, and on the other hand, he was holding a shield and I could see that every time the dragon shot fire towards the earth, the angel was using his shield and was able to put out the dragon fire that was shot toward the earth, while the angel of the Lord fought the seven head dragon in this battle, I saw the dragon opening the mouth of his first head, I remember when the dragon opened his mouth, I saw that out of his mouth came out demons, I saw that these demons were of short stature, they were so many demons that came out of the mouth of the dragon, they were so small, but I saw these small sized demons multiplying themselves, they were too many demons that were multiplying after coming out of the mouth of the dragon, and I began to see that these little demons started to run all over the land and they were multiplying, and the Lord said, these demons are principalities, they are marching against my people and my church, they are sent to orchestrate spiritual sleep among my people so that they no longer feel freedom. The joy of praising me and exalting me, 
The Lord told me, my church needs to fast and pray, to overcome. The church needs to pray, I was watching the dragon and I saw him opening his mouth again, and I saw snakes that came out of the mouth of the second head of the dragon. These many snakes were dark, there were too many of these snakes coming out of the mouth of that dragon, and those snakes ran all over the land and they walked the earth, the Lord told me. These many snakes that came out of the mouth of the dragon are spirits of adultery and fornication that go against my people and my church, but behold, how my angel is fighting for you and waging war for my beloved church, I remember that the moment the angel of the Lord made use of the flaming sword on his hand and destroying all these snakes with his sword, the Lord has been so merciful and so great that he has sent an army of angels for the truth, to fight for our life our house and our children and our marriage, the Lord told me, go to my church and tell my people to be wary and take care of the people, I looked and saw the third head of the dragon who opened his mouth, and when the dragon opened his mouth, I began to see many demon vampires who were like bats, I don't know how to explain it, but they came out of the mouth of that dragon and they looked like bats flying through the air, and the Lord told me, these bats are powers of the devil that have come out to steal my presence from my people, they come to take away my presence that I place in my people, those demons that you are seeing have come out to destroy my temple, the dwelling of my Holy Spirit, which is your body, those demons also go against my people to make them physically tired, they are putting physical fatigue so that when you are in my house, you do not have the freedom to praise, but here is my angel who fights for you. Immediately I started to see the angel fighting with a sword of fire and I saw these bat demons being consumed by flames of fire shot from the sword of the angel of God, the Lord told me. These demons cause distraction in the day of service, my people stay at home doing mundane things, this reminds me of the story of Martha as her sister Mary sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he taught, but Martha was distracted by the big dinner she was preparing. She came to Jesus and said, Lord, doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits here while I do all the work? Tell her to come and help me, but the Lord said to her, My dear Martha, you are worried and upset over all these details, there is only one thing worth being concerned about, Mary has discovered it, and it will not be taken away from her, and this is the work of bad demons at the end of time. They are putting distraction on the days of worship for God's people to remain at home doing mundane things instead of going to church to praise God, and the Lord told me, this is the time my church must be gathering in my house praising me and exalting me, and I said, Lord, why do you tell me this? And the Lord told me, you have to understand the vision, then I saw in this battle the fourth head of the dragon that opened the mouth and from the mouth of the dragon came out a man dressed in purple, I saw this man that emerged from the mouth of the dragon was heading to the White House in the US government, the Lord told me to look, when I looked and I saw the structure, which was actually the White House, the Lord told me, what you see is the White House the seat of the US government, I looked and saw this man dressed in purple holding a paper in his hand, I saw mysterious writing on this paper, these writings were in an unknown language, which I could not understand, but the Lord revealed the meaning of the mysterious writing on this paper for the Lord told me, these writings are all about the control of the whole humanity, finally, I saw this figure in purple entering the White House, moments after entering the White House, I saw this demonic man leaving the building with his paper, but when he took a step out of the White House, I saw that the building was on fire and there was smoke, I saw smoke and fire coming out of the building and the White House was burning, the fire and the smoke were seen in the distance, and this fire was broadcast in the media and this news, when this news was released in the public, I saw unrest and riot in the streets all over the country, there was a lot of death and a lot of blood, but I saw this man dressed in purple leaving the White House as if nothing had happened inside, yet, the building was on fire, this man in purple said, now everything related to the book will be deleted, the Bible will be removed in America and the whole world, the book will be deleted, the Lord told me, this man has come so that my word will be removed and forbidden in America and in the world, he came out of the mouth of the dragon so that the Bibles will be taken away from the face of the earth, and the Lord told me, 
Tell my people that the time to read my word is now. It is time to love my word because what is written is about to happen. The Lord was talking about prosecution that is imminent, when the Lord warned about the imminent prosecution in America, I began to see people who preach the word of God on the corners of the street and in the squares, and they were distributing brochures spreading the word of God telling humanity that Christ is coming, they warned people that we are in the end times, when I watched servants and preachers evangelizing in squares of their streets, suddenly, I saw at that moment, armed soldiers that arrived and they arrested them, and they took them, I saw that these preachers were imprisoned, and the Lord said, my word is being fulfilled, here comes persecution for servants of mine, persecution is coming for those preachers, many will be arrested because of my word, they will be incarcerated but my church must be praying for them, it was a terrible chase that I saw on the earth, the Lord told me, my word will no longer be preached freely like before, at that time, God showed me another vision, I saw that I was asleep, suddenly I could hear a roar from heaven, and I started to feel something was moving under the earth, something was shaking the ground, I began to feel a slight tremor as the earth moved, but suddenly it was no longer only underground, I began to see the structures moving, including my room, I was shaking, and I got up from my bed, and I heard God telling me, what I have shown you is coming soon you have to say it even if they don't love you, at that moment, my body trembled and shuddered, I started walking slowly towards the house of prayer, the Lord said, my church does not want to believe, my son, you have to store food, you have to save provision, you have to anoint your lamps and candles because darkness would come to the earth, you must save water and food, if even many do not want to do it, you just announce what you heard and saw. I have promised my watchmen who are warning about the judgment, I'm going to keep them because of how much they have heeded my voice and mandate and they have not been silent, I have warned people about the judgment of the earth, you have to tell them not to stop telling the people about the judgment, they must keep announcing this truth, I am already tired of warning men and telling them that my clock has stopped, the time of the rapture of the church has passed it is only my mercy that sustains the world and the people, my church can't stop warning people to wake up, do not let Satan imprison my word inside the four walls of the church, do not doubt who you are, do not fear, then the Lord began to fill me with joy, and he told me, be a trumpet to the nations and the church, there are many demons that have come out, you have no fight against blood and flesh but against principalities, against powers against rulers of the darkness of this century. The church needs to engage in a spiritual war in these times, the spirit world wants to imprison my words, already my words are imprisoned in the four walls of many churches but they should have been reaching the sick, the Lord told me, Satan has imprisoned my word in four walls, my servants who really love me must preach my word beyond the four walls of their churches, they should not be afraid to pray for those who are infected by this pandemic, tell them to take my word to the infected and they will be healed because now is the time for my power to manifest over my people, this is the time that God has chosen for those who do not know the power of God through miracles, it is time for them to know Jesus Christ of Nazareth, 